तो इनके घर से हम औरतों के बेट में जो बच्चा है कोक में से निकाल के मारेंगे तो इन सोरों की करो विदाई Well, in keeping with showing endless proof that Hinduism is every bit as terroristic as Islam, or the Satanic Roman Catholic Church and the Jesuit Order, which by the way, Islam and Hinduism are just two sides of that same uh, Luciferian Jesuit coin. In this case, you have an example, once again proving that if you insult Hinduism, you get the same kind of reaction that you would if you insult the false pedophile prophet Muhammad over in uh, Pakistan from the Muslims. So this is on uh, uh, Times of India. Basically, you have this academic who was basically shot, uh, shot dead for criticizing Hindu idol worship. It says a controversial writer and scholar shot dead. This is back in 2015, but still relevant today because Hinduism has not changed. It says uh, the uh, reputed, and I'm not, I'm not good at pronouncing a lot of these Indian names, so just bear with me. Basically, the reputed uh, scholar and academic served as the vice chancellor of Canada University and Hampai was shot dead by unidentified men at Darawad on Sunday morning, police said. Three men who barged into his house and shot him after a heated argument, police said. The police, uh, while police uh, strongly suspect they might be a target of, of a Hindu fundamentalist, they have also ruled out personal enmity over sharing a property. Uh, basically, he was awarded uh, this award back in 2006 for a collection of a uh, for a collection of hundred of his research articles, let's see why. He, what, let's see why these Hindu terrorists tried to go after him. He was noted in the in the uh, as a renowned scholar of Vakana literature. However, his scholarship of the Vakanas has come under acute criticism in the 21st century. A controversy broke out in the early 80s over over. Cal Berge's book, uh, Marga One, erupted. Religious zealots belonging to a powerful Lingayat community came down heavily on him. He was forced to recant the allegedly derogatory references to the founder of Vera Asha Eva, the, basically this, the uh, Hindu thing. Uh, the documents grew louder among the community and he was summoned by the, by, sorry, sorry, summoned to a math in who be a lie and forced to recant his life work life's work yeah because there's no free speech under a hindu theocracy it says his writings were a product of massive uh, or sorry extensive research he is it's a collection of papers in canada folklore religion and culture the controversy revolves around two articles which deal with uh Bas basha ivarara's wife and sister though he had apologized to the lingayat seers the controversy continued with the fundamental the hindu fundamentalist demanding the book that the book be prescribed. The frustra uh, frustrated Calabergi had declared that he would later never again pursue any research on that literature and philosophy. Last year, his comments to a, uh, at a public program raised many, many uh, eyebrows. Sorry, not good at reading on a computer. Speaking on a program, he uh, referred to remarks made by the late Jenna Pith uh, Arwa Awardee, sorry, Basically, that about the Hindu idol worship and a collection of essays are roughly translated why nude worship is not acceptable. He had stated as a writer that he had once urinated on the idols of Hindu gods to prove that they are not powerful. Oh yeah, doing something like that will definitely get the uh, Hindus into a, a demonic frenzy, just like if you were to do that to a to the uh, blasphemous, unholy Islamic Quran or insult Islam's uh, pedophile, blasphemous, blasphemous, false prophet Muhammad. Plain and simple. This further showing how Hinduism is every bit as terroristic as Islam and how there is no free speech under a Hindu theocracy. 
plain and simple. Uh, Hinduism and Islam, like I said, are just two sides of the same Jesuit Luciferian coin, and both Hinduism and Islam fall under Proverbs 8, verse 36, and John 8, 44, because they're, they're basically just forms of, of Luciferian death worship. So I wanted to point that out, further proving my point, which, you know, is, is if it hasn't already been shown enough, that Hinduism is a religion of terrorism. So may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with all the brethren. Goodbye.